We're breaking down the techniques that the French Laundry, a three Michelin star restaurant uses so you can make Michelin quality herb oil at home. We're gonna cover their three techniques so that you can make these oils regardless of the herbs used. As a bonus, I'm gonna show you how to make their curry oil so you can spice up your cooking. The three oil types are based off their herb categories, hard herbs, fine herbs, and very fine. Fine is a French word meaning fine or delicate. It's fancy. For the very fien herbs, we'll be using chives. Start by picking through your chives to remove any sad or wilted ones. They will ruin the flavor. To make the chives easier to handle, cut them into one inch pieces. You will need one cup of chives or 40 grams. Then give the chives a hot shower for two minutes. This will help soften the herb and more importantly, take away the grassy flavor. Squeeze the chives to remove all of the water and the allium slime. Pro tip, I found it much easier to place all the chives in a paper towel, then squeeze out the water. It is far easier to deal with the water before blending than after. In order to make blending easier, the French Laundry uses scissors instead of knives to cut the herbs into smaller pieces which will help keep the herb oil more vibrant. Chopping some herbs with a knife will oxidize the herb, causing your oil to turn brown. Place half the chives in with half of the oil. The French Laundry says to use a cup or eight ounces of canola oil, but I found it closer to six ounces. Pro tip is to add enough oil to almost reach the top of the herbs. When fully blending, the puree should have the consistency of a pureed soup. This will ensure a stronger flavored oil. I personally like avocado oil for high heat and sunflower oil for taste, which is what I use in flavored oils. Be careful not to let the blender overheat, which would dull the lovely green color. For maximum flavor, the French Laundry stores the purees in the fridge for a day or two, which will infuse the oil with more of the herb flavor. Then, strain the oil through a cheesecloth, or my preferred method is a lid and like. Link in the description. Make sure to not squeeze the puree, which can cloud the oil. Other very fine herbs include dill, chervil, and cilantro. These ones, you can avoid the hot shower. Do you want to create Michelin-inspired tasting menus at home without the formal training? In January, we're launching our first cohort to do just that. If you want to learn more, there's a link in the description. For the fiend herbs, we'll be using parsley. Start by plucking the parsley from the stem. You will need four cups of the picked Italian parsley or about 80 grams. I like to save the parsley stems in the freezer to use for stocks and sauces. To get a bright green oil, the French Laundry uses their big pot blanching method to cook the herbs. Bring a large pot of water to a boil. For every quart of water, add a fourth cup of salt. This will keep the herbs bright green and season them at the same time. Blanch the parsley for 15 seconds using a strainer to make it easier to remove from the water. Place into an ice bath to stop the cooking and set the dark green color. Once cooled, squeeze out all the water. It's not only easier to remove the water now, but you'll also remove some of the acids built up from the cooking process keeping your oils greener longer. Cut the herbs same as before with scissors, then place half the herbs into a blender with half of the oil. You want to use 3 fourths of a cup or 6 ounces of a neutral flavored oil. Same as the first oil, blend until it becomes smooth like a puree. Store the puree in the fridge to strengthen the flavors, then strain. Other herbs that work well with this process are fennel, basil, and mint. For the hard herbs, we're going to be making thyme oil. To start, pick a fourth cup or seven grams of thyme leaves with three cups or 60 grams of picked parsley. The parsley is used to add color to the oil but won't really affect the flavor. Bring up a pot of water for big pot blanching, same as before. Blanch the thyme for 30 seconds, then add in the parsley for 10 seconds. Pull from the pot and shock the herbs in the ice bath until they are cold. Squeeze all the water from the herbs, then using scissors to cut into small pieces. Place half of the herbs into a blender with 3 fourths of a cup of oil or 6 ounces. I'm using extra virgin olive oil for a more Mediterranean oil. You can use a neutral flavored oil or an extra virgin olive oil with hard herbs including basil. Same as the first two oils, blend until it becomes a smooth puree. Store the puree in the fridge to strengthen the flavor, then strain. Other hard herbs are sage, 
rosemary, marjoram, or oregano. For the bonus spice oil, we are making a curry flavored oil. One of the most important aspects for flavor is using quality ingredients. I like the quality of Morton and Bassett spices, which I linked in the description. Toast a fourth of a cup or 24 grams of curry powder on medium low heat until fragrant. Add this to a bowl, then toast 3 tablespoons or 12 grams coriander until you start to smell the aroma. Remove from the heat and add in half an inch long cinnamon stick, 3 tablespoons or 26 grams of mace, and 1 and a fourth teaspoons or 1 gram of cayenne, blending into a powder. Measure out 1 cup or 8 ounces of a neutral flavored oil and add enough oil to moisten the spices. Add the spice mixer to a blender. I did this in 2 batches because of the size of my blender. Add the remaining oil and blend. Then let this sit on the spices for a day or two at room temperature and strain the same as before. I strained the oil with the spices which ended up clogging the linen like. Instead, I would strain the oil and then after that's all the way through, add the spices to get any remaining oil. This can be left out at room temperature. Herb oils don't just look amazing on a plate, but they add an extra layer of flavor and they can enhance the flavors already found in the dish. If you enjoyed this video, you should watch this video next where I break down the steps that the French Laundry uses to make three Michelin star chicken stock at home.